Hey guys, thanks again for tuning in to this week's tip of the week. We're gonna go through porosity of different products this week. We're gonna go through which vacuums work with the different porosity of products. And then we're gonna identify the porosity of products, which ones are natural stone, wet cast, and dry cast. And hopefully this can help you get the right package. So as we dive into which one of our vacuum units is gonna work with the different porosity of products, we wanted to point out, if you go to our website, pavetool.com, you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will see the catalog tab, and it's gonna be in page 11. There's this great chart that we have put together to help you understand which vacuum unit is gonna work best for you. So going through this chart, first on it, we have the battery power pack unit. The battery power pack is gonna work with all of your non-porous products, which would be your natural stones and your wet cast, as well as then we have our inline venturi. Inline venturi is gonna work awesome for, again, natural stones, wet cast, that being your non-porous products. Then we'll step into HV venturi, which is a high flow unit. It'll work with some of your manufactured products, some of your slightly porous products, as well as your natural stones and a wet cast. Lastly, we have our VME, our VMB, which is our VACMAX units, as well as the 200E, and those are gonna work with all of the products, just limited a little bit in weight. So lastly, we wanna identify what porosity is. So porosity is obviously the void space in a given material. The amount of air that will flow through that product is porosity. We also wanna identify what products are non-porous, slightly porous, and porous. The most common or the easiest way to get your answer out, whether it's non-porous or porous, is to contact your manufacturer and figure out what they're identifying that product as. Now we'll kind of go in through the different products. First things first, we have our porous products, right? Porous products are gonna be your manufactured stones. Some of these can be identified as slightly porous. Um, just depends on how it's made in the manufacturer. And the way to identify this is you'll usually see a little bit of aggregate coming through the face. Usually tends to be very little textures to the face of the product. And if you were to take this and put it under a microscope, it would look almost like a sponge. So the air is actually flowing through the bottom of the product, coming out the top, which is making this a porous product or a slightly porous product. We don't have any of the product here, but we do have limestone as well, which would be a slightly porous product. Then we wanna go into our wet cast products. Um, wet cast products are going to be a non-porous product. So this is a very dense product. It is poured very similar to a sidewalk where it's a liquid mixture that gets dumped in. The way to identify it is usually you'll see some air pock marks because when they're vibrating the material, they might not be getting enough vibration, making it to have these air holes in the sides. Also, there will be three sides of this product that will be nice, and there's always one side that looks like a little bit rougher edge. And the reason for that is because, again, it's poured, so the top part, they kind of just trowel to make it nice, but it's not gonna give you the textures like the rest of the product. That's gonna be, obviously, wet cast is gonna be your non-porous product. Lastly, non-porous is gonna be your granites, your blue stones, and any of your natural stone products, tiles, porcelain, things like that. The density of the product is much greater than any of your dry cast products. So it's a very dense material, obviously, bent in the ground, it's a natural stone. It's been packed it over decades. It's very compressed and there's not a lot of void space in the products, again, making it a nine porous product. So hopefully this helps to identify the different products, the different porosities of them, and then also helps you identify which vacuum units are gonna work with the different products and get you set up for success. Hopefully this week's tip of the week was very helpful. If you wanna to go to pavetool.com, get this chart that's in there. It's very informative and that's on our catalog as well as check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and please feel free to give us a call if you need some help picking out your suction package.